Okay, guys, I'm here today with Gordon Ryan, huge honor for me. And guys, Gordon's shooting an entire structure all about arm locks. And today he's gonna show us here some examples and I'm super excited to learn from you again, Gordon. Yeah, so we're gonna work through different various uh, various arm bars and a lot of the other instructionals that I have, like closed guard, for example, or mount uh, attacking from top pins, uh, you see the setups into the arm bars. So this instructional is gonna be built around separating our partner's grips, going through the various grips because your partner has many different grips they can use. They can use 10 finger grip, either way and how you address these grips will be different they can go palm to palm either way they can go wrist to wrist either way they can go into a full figure of four um, they can go into a hamstring grab once you separate the uh, hand so there's a bunch of different grips your partner can use from here um, so we have to go into separating the grips on our partner through different various uh, through various leg positions that we can have we can have a quarter juji we can have a full juji we can have various different leg positions on how we can attack our partner and then we have to go through top juji and bottom juji okay top juji obviously is when we're we set up an arm bar, just put your head this way. We set up an arm bar from situations where we're on top of our partner. And now the central problem associated with top jujis is how can I keep my partner down? Okay, so how can I keep him facing belly up in a relatively unathletic position? So we go through a top juji. We also go through situations where we go into bottom juji, where he stacks me, for example, and he starts getting up on top. And now I'm in a bottom juji, and I have to look to control Fernando from this position. And the central problem from here isn't how do I keep my partner down, it's how do I keep myself up. And the most important thing that we can think of from here, from in general when we're thinking about these arm bars, on how to keep my hips up, is just focus on keeping your knee above your partner's ear. If my knee is below Bernardo's ear in this position, and I can pinch my knees and back heel all I want, when Bernardo goes to posture up and pulls elbow out, it comes out pretty easy every time, even if I have control over the arm. But when I get my knee above the height of Bernardo's ear, and now I pinch my knees and back heel, he can stand all the way up. Man, I'm completely stuck Even if you get stand, stand up, even with no control over the hand, when he goes to pull his elbow free, there's just no way he can pull the elbow out. So I, my whole thing is from here is how can I hip, keep my hips up? The second my hips start to drop, now he can just easily pull his elbow free. So we look at the central problems associated with top juji and with bottom juji and how to deal with finishing our part, separating the hands, finishing our partner, and then returning our partner to the mat if he ends up in a situation where he's stacking me. And then from there, we look at advanced sequences where we can follow our partner through as he's giving us strong defensive reactions and changing our leg position into different Jujigatami positions as he goes into defensive rolls, stacking positions, and changing our grips, changing our legs, and following our partner through into super advanced sequences towards the end. Yeah, Gordon, one thing I love that you do, and I see you doing, uh, for example, I think it was Roberto Jimenez, right? That you closed the triangle and then you went to the arm bar? Was, yeah. Is that right? Um, well, so I went to S mount and I controlled both the arms and then I switched to the mounted arm bar. Yeah, yeah. or maybe it was against, uh, who was that? There was someone uh, that you went to the triangle and then you went to uh, the Kyle, arm bar. Kyle Bayo. Kyle Bayo. Yeah. yeah. So I, went, yeah Kyle, I, I went to... Uh, I attempted a triangle, he postured out, and then I, and then, and, and then, no, I went, I went, I went for the arm bar first, he came towards me, I locked the triangle, and then I went Ameri Americana off the triangle. I got it. Yeah. But anyways, uh, the principles for the arm bar, when involves combinations, are the same as well. So for example, if we're hitting an arm bar inside a triangle, you would kind of follow the same principles yes. about the hip and the net. And then, and what we're going to do is we're going to go from arm bars into locking basic triangles. And then when we do an instructional on triangles, then we're going to look at triangle arm bars and, and try more as oh, yeah. from triangles. So we'll we'll kind of feed into it'll kind of be a segue into the triangles where we'll lock basic triangles and finish basic triangles in the arm bar instructional, and then we'll work on really advanced triangles and triangle arm bars, triangles with kimuras in the triangle instructional. Yeah, man, no, oh, that's incredible. No, oh, that's incredible. Yeah, guys, uh, I wish you guys were here to feel the pressure that he was putting without using his hands, just with his legs. That was insane. But uh, anyways, yeah, so guys, this instruction is going to be all about arm bars and the, I think arm bars, no gi. With the gi, there's a lot less friction. With yes. no gi, it's so easy to lose the position. Yeah, so I think so, the wedging has to be very precise when you're working without the gi because when you have the, the pants and you have the sleeves, it's, it's hard. It's so easy to yeah. yank out, you know, like, and, the, and I think this is also a big help for who's fighting tournaments that have EBI rules and that. Yeah, for sure. That's pretty much like 50% of yeah. the game there, right? Yeah, guys, make sure to check it out. It's going to be at bgjfanatics.com. Maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And thanks so much, Gordon. Thank you. Thank you.
Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.